on the door. Talks with Chase is on right now. I am Chase and Demers, your hostess with the mostest, and I'm with you all the way through till 10 p.m. Viridri and Jerome are coming in from 8 p.m. And I definitely want to do something and switch it up. It is our motivation with our segment. Last week we spoke about being overlooked. Hop onto that YouTube video. I'm going to put it up here. Hop onto it right now and watch that. And then also tell me how you handled it. Because I need to know, did you take my advice? Or did you even find something out in yourself? Hmm, quite interesting. So this week we are switching it up and doing something a little bit more light. And I want to discuss, are you ready? I can't believe Toast is actually doing this, but she is. The single life. I am talking about being single right now. Don't wanna be all by myself anymore. The season of your single life, there are two types of people, okay? You've got the people that are single and date, and then you have the people that are single and don't date. I think I fall into this bracket just because I think that, you know, I need to find time for myself to really understand myself. The single period can be quite lonely. You know, girl, sometimes, right, let me just be honest. Have you ever had to pay for meals or, you know, give your order guy, call him 50 times and he doesn't even call you once? That's what I've seen in the single period. Your standards sometimes get lower because you want that love. And it's like if you took a step back, right? If you took a step back, would you really want that kind of man in your life? I don't think so. So another disadvantage that I see in the single life is that your uh, coupled friends, the people that are in relationships, they look at you weird. Super. Thanks, Uncle G. Still no further, eh? I don't know. You career girls can't put it off forever, you know. They're like, oh, you can't give me advice because you're not in a relationship. You can't tell me this. Or they look at you like, oh, so sorry. You don't have someone on Valentine's Day. And it's like, you don't have to feel bad for me. I'm good. I know how to take myself out on Valentine's Day. I'm chilling. You're the one with a man that may not even be calling you. So why, why are we comparing ourselves? You know what I mean? And that actually leads on to my third point, funny laugh. Comparison. You'll look on social media, there'll be people posting hashtag bae and you'll be like, hashtag no bae, what's wrong with me? And then you start to compare your life and your love life to other people and then you start feeling like, hey, I'm less than. And that is just not the case, okay? Your single life should be a positive experience and I'm going to show you how. So the positives I've seen about being single is that you find yourself, you find your likes, your dislikes, your strengths and your weaknesses. I do believe that you have to know yourself to know what you bring to the table financially, emotionally, physically. I don't want to go into a relationship where I rely on a man for everything. So I do believe that that's the period where you really can get yourself together. The second thing that I saw was that it gives you time to heal. You heal those scars from past relationships. You need that time to really grow and heal those broken wounds in your heart so that when the right person comes, you don't destroy it because you've built toxic habits to either push them away or to overreact. And you have to heal that brokenness because if you're not hit whole, how can two whole people come together and make the perfect love life? You need to build yourself in terms of your career. What do you want to do? What is your passion? What is your purpose? What do you like to do? So that when you do find someone, you don't change. And then all of a sudden, hey, I started off in engineering and now I want to go into entertainment. You're dating someone and they're thinking they're getting an engineer. And then you change and say, hey, my lifestyle's completely changed. I have to go to these award ceremonies and do this. If you don't find yourself before a relationship, that person may look at you and say, I didn't know this is who you were going to be. So I really do believe that it's the time for you to know your purpose and to walk in it. And I just want to point out that, yes, it's amazing to be independent, but you attract what you give out. If you're giving out, I don't need you. I don't want you. That is also what you're going to get as well. So please, my single people, if you are listening, listen to this advice, be independent. Very, very, very great thing. However, don't come across like you don't want someone in your life because that is what you will get. The last thing that I saw was that it gives you time to know the kind of man 
okay, that or the woman that you need to have in your life. So I break them up into two standards. We have our standards and we have our preferences. The standards are deal breakers. The things that you want in a partner that are deal breakers. An example would be, to me, he has to be God-fearing. If you're not God-fearing, it's all right, but we ain't going to date. You know what I mean? But then a preference could be, he has to be tall. That's a standard for me, but for some people can be a preference. You know what I mean? <laughs> but yeah, I do think that you have to know what you want in a man and the things that you aren't willing to compromise on. Because when you are single, it can get to a lonely stage where you start compromising on things that you know deep down that you want. If you want a man that's financially stable, that's okay. If you want a man that knows where his purpose is, that's okay. Write those things down. You have to be observant of the type of people you're around and pick up those characteristics that you want in a man. So there are people in my team Viv he's creative okay I like creative people Jerome he's helpful okay I want a helpful man this person that person what do you like about people so the more people that you surround yourself with then you know okay this is what I want in my man if he's tidy if he's organized those are the things that you will pick up on just end it with preparing yourself for that relationship if you want to be an amazing girlfriend prepare yourself you know work on the things that you feel like you need to change if you have anger problems work on that you don't want to bring that into a relationship if you have insecurities and jealousy issues work on that as well you don't want to bring that into a relationship identify the things you need to work on so that when you're coming in with someone else who has his own baggage that he also worked on or vice versa her baggage that she worked on you're coming together to make something beautiful. I just want to end it with saying that you're not going to be single for the rest of your life. Use this time wisely. Find yourself. Don't allow that void to make you dumb down your list and also settle. Do not settle because it can be a season where you feel like, oh, I'm never going to get married. No one's going to love me. But trust in that promise and that desire that your life is going to be for the best. And it's going to turn out the way that you have always dreamt and planned for it to be. So thank you so much for listening to Talk to Jones. Shardy's like a melody in my head that I...